We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Monday, August 24th and we are in beautiful driving away from Fort Bragg up north along the coast around the ocean and it is so beautiful here, isn't it babe? Yeah, we're in Redwoods country with these amazing old huge trees. We just stopped like in the midst of it all. We're loving it. It's actually really cold as well, even though the sun's out and it's August, it's really cold here. Nice. And we are, I'm excited because you know our famous greener grasses coconut water mix that we're making right now? We found a new ingredient. And we were talking about before how you blend just straight coconut water with greener grasses in a blender and it's quite amazing. It frothes up and it's just really good. Well, we also, you don't, if you don't have a blender, you can just mix the two together and it's still really good. It doesn't become as frothy, but I almost like it even more because the greener grasses is like, there's little bits of it in there and it's just, it's just so amazing. So I just throw, we throw that in there and we came across a new discovery. Um, check it out. Dun, da, da, dun. The original Merlin's Herbal Magic Roots Elixir. Now, this is just the ultimate medicinal herbal blend that you can possibly imagine. And I want to get this stuff inside my body. I'm talking, they've got Foti, Foti, what is that, baby? He Shao Wu. Sha Wu. It's got milk thistle seed, nettles. It's got ginseng. It's got cat's claw, iris moss. It's mineral rich. These are like a lot of the ingredients. There's like 33 like really strong medicinal herbs that I'm always hearing and they're always recommended. And we've been putting just a little bit inside of our greener grasses, coconut water mixture. And um, it's crazy how it changes, it makes the taste even better. Just a little bit. It's, it, it has a little bit of cayenne in there, but barely any. It gives it this little spice. But additionally, it also gives it like a malty taste and almost makes it taste more like chocolate than ever before. And it makes it thicker for some reason. Yeah, it's really yummy. It tastes like malty chocolate drink somehow. Angela's and, been loving it. Yeah, I've been drinking this a lot. And <laughs> as usual, we're making stuff on the road. So this is the kind of technique that we're using today. This isn't necessarily the recommended technique. If you have a bit more high-tech equipment at your disposal. But we're just going to um, pour it into some mason jars and do the James Bond shaken not stirred trick. That's what you got to do right there. That's all you got to do. Go for it, babes. It's really yummy. What does it taste like? A chocolate malt. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it makes it taste better, right? Mm -hmm. Let me taste some of that. takes it to the next level while at the same time getting all these medicinal herbs in. I love it. It's thicker, it tastes like chocolate malt. It makes it the malt and more dense chocolatey. And it's like a blood transfusion because it's coconut and greens plus a load of medicine at the same time. This is so good, I could just drink it all. I want that. <laughs> We've got some other new products for you also um, that we want to show you and um, check it out. We just did an awesome talk at Healdsburg Cafe Gratitude. It was a lot of fun. And uh, what you got there, Miss Stokes? Mama? I have got the new coconut crisps from Noni Land. We have three different flavors. This is my new favorite snack. Um, 
we just got these in like this week and this one is like the kind of plain flavor it's just like hawaiian coconut crisps and then there's a honey noni one and a blue green algae one and um the plain is actually my favorite so what this is they thanks for joining us we'll see you again at the raw food world